Hi, in this lesson, we're going to introduce and explore storyboarding, which is an important technique that's used throughout the game design industry. What is storyboarding? Storyboarding is a technique used to quickly develop a story with visual cards. Here's an example of a storyboard for a simple scene. The storyboard cards often include sketched visuals and text. The cards are done quickly to capture the essence of the scene, so they're drafts and not final versions. What's nice about this technique is that the cards can easily be rearranged, which allows the developer to easily test out different order of events. What we end up with is a visual blueprint of the entire scene, some that will guide future development. Before we develop our own storyboards, let's take a look at where they came from and see a few more examples. Legend has it that in the 1930s, Disney animator Webb Smith would draw quick sketches of scenes and pin them on the wall to help organize the flow of the story. He's credited as the first to use this technique to describe the story instead of just using words. Here's a famous picture of Walt Disney himself standing in front of a storyboard for the movie Pinocchio. Since then, storyboarding has been an essential part of the development of TV shows and movies. They allow creators to explore the flow of scenes without investing too much time working on polished products. Can you identify these two movies? Pause the video for a second and see if you recognize these images. On the left is the movie The Incredibles, and on the right is a scene from the movie Toy Story. And how about this one? This is a scene of the gingerbread man interrogation from the 2001 movie Shrek. Creating storyboards is also now an essential step in developing engaging and cohesive video games. And it makes sense. It's an easy way to organize plot points, scenes, characters, gameplay mechanisms, possible paths, and action sequences. You can see in this simple example how the two cards outline the possible paths for Mario to take using color to outline the difficulty and possibilities for rewards. So why spend time developing a storyboard instead of just an outline or description of the game? Well, the storyboard allows for flexibility in the development process. Cards can be moved around and changed very easily. They provide a very quick visual prototype to try out different ideas for plot points or camera angles or action sequences. The visual aspect of the cards offers more information than if you were just going to describe these elements with words. The rapid development of these ideas is really important because you get a sense of the big picture without getting too attached to any one idea or lost in the details of one aspect. You'd hate to spend hours developing a sequence in Unity only to realize later that it doesn't quite fit with the rest of the scene. And finally, the storyboarding process also lends itself to effective collaboration between other team members and in garnering quick feedback. Now that you understand the basics of storyboarding, it's your turn to get some experience with creating your very own storyboards.